Bienvenue à toutes et tous sur le circuit international de karting euh, du Mans. Bienvenue euh, également via la chaîne YouTube de ces euh, rencontres internationales finales 2017 si jamais sur le circuit international de karting du Mans sous le soleil. Pas un nuage, que des euh, sourires sur euh, les visages, en tout cas pour ceux et celles qui viennent ici en spectateur, en spectatrice, en assistant, en assistante, en partenaire euh, également de ces plus de 400 euh, pilotes qui euh, se sont donné rendez-vous pour ces euh, finales internationales 2017 si jamais sur le même circuit international de karting du monde où nous sommes en ce moment. Que ces mots nous permettent aussi euh, de saluer tous ceux et toutes celles qui viennent pour apporter une contribution combien euh, indispensable à, à l'organisation de, de ces épreuves. Bien sûr, nous faisons souvent allusion aux commissaires, mais pas seulement les personnes qui, euh, côté coulisses aussi, se donnent à fond pour que tout se passe bien. Euh, L'on poursuit euh, avec notre présentation désormais des pilotes au départ de la manche suivante, Tiller Maxon, que l'on a en ce moment à l'image. Nous sommes cette fois-ci dans l'univers des X30 Junior, cette fois-ci avec euh, la grille de départ pour les pilotes au départ de la manche des G. We've been live, of course, for the last two days as well. Thanks for joining us if you are on the live stream. Myself, Chris McCarthy, and Bruno van der Stick here for you. So the last two days, we have been live streaming all the races going to YouTube, and uh, that will be the case for today as well. Four junior heats coming up, and that will be followed by an X30 mini heat, their first heat of the weekend before we take a break, and then we'll be going all the way through from uh, 10 past 1, all the way through to about half 6 before we uh, have the driver's presentation at 7 local time here at Le Mans. X30 Junior heat then it's groups D and G. First let's talk a little bit about the points in terms of the heats. Now the less points you score the better essentially. If you take a win you don't score any points. Uh, the top 33 at the end of today will automatically gain an A final space and the drivers from 34th place to 67th place in the standings will go into the B final where one driver will make it through. The winner will make it through to the A final. The drivers from 68th to 101st will go into the C final. One, the winner from that race will go into the back of the B final. The drivers from 102nd to 134th uh, will unfortunately not be racing tomorrow. But so it's all to play for essentially the last heats coming up today some of the uh, the drivers in groups a b g and h have had four heats and the drivers in groups f d e and c have had five heats so although we're reading out the points some drivers have done more races than others harry thompson currently leading the way though and he's been unbeaten all weekend five wins out of five for him so far team and van der helm sits second in the points He has five points, having took a fifth place, uh, followed by three wins. Then it's Matthias Zagazetta, who has had uh, a win, two second place finishes and a third. So that makes seven points. Lachlan Robinson, who uh, in the one, two, one, sorry, has had a, a win, a sixth place, a fourth place and then a win, which uh, gives Lachlan 10 points. O'Neill Muth is currently fifth in the points. Uh, with uh, two second place finishes, a fourth and a seventh. Then it's Tyler Reed, who has been very consistent at fourth, a third, a second, and a sixth for Tyler. Antoine Potty currently seventh. Antoine's had a third, a sixth, a third, and a fourth. Hadrian David has had, well, by his standards, one average race where we've got a tenth, but then it was a second, uh, a win, and a fourth. Dick Hugh and Lewis Gilbert round out the top ten. Currently going through to the to the A final along with them would be Hesmans, Hans I M, Stalmans, Treyard de Quimont, Luan Fernandez, Serenetti, Levesque, Fares, Salonen, Aski, Moulsdale, Masson, Akabi, Nermi, Ferrati, Goldstein, Williams, Dewey, uh, Spenley, Gezu, Negatunif, Mallet and Simmons in that order. Now unfortunately Reggie Dewey has uh, um, withdrawn from the event, so uh, that's Reggie will of course 
uh, automatically be dropping out of that top 33. But uh, this is for groups D and G, Bruno. Yeah. You have the grid in front of you. Uh, Delano, Van Hoff, Mateus Sangen on the front row. Then it's uh, Buad, Fernandez, Akabi, Zagazeta, Ferrati, Aski, Janssen, uh, Simbara, Hans Ayem, Karolainen are the front six roads. De Judas, Kashenko, Maxson, Fornaroli, Leben, Dania, uh, PK and Janssen, the top 20. Uh, 16 and a half rows of drivers. Some drivers in there with an A final space wanting to hang on to it. Some drivers currently going to be in the B or C final trying to move forward. Oui, une fois, euh, nous avons commencé à se préoccuper de, de la place dans le classement, dans la perspective, bien entendu, de prendre le départ de la finale A, la finale B, la finale C, la finale C pour euh, les euh, pilotes qui en fait se sont qualifiés de la 68e à la 100e place, sont qualifiés ou placés. Dans le classement général final, en tenant compte bien sûr des points marqués, si on gagne, on a zéro point, moins on a de points, mieux. On est placé dans l'accomplissement et dans la progression des manches qualificatives. Euh, les pilotes que l'on va retrouver, voie de gauche, Mathias Salonen en particulier, sont euh, plutôt voie de droite, pardon, sont des pilotes qui ont disputé cinq manches jusque-là. Dielno Vantov, numéro 118, qui sera dans un instant le pilote de la pole, qui va revenir, bien sûr, devant euh, nous, sera l'un des pilotes ayant pour l'instant disputé seulement quatre manches. Donc, par conséquent, il faut rééquilibrer tout cela. On rappellera que Harry Sanson, même s'il n'est pas forcément au départ de cette manche-là, est pour l'instant en tête. Il a tout gagné jusque-là, toutes les manches qualificatives. Il a zéro point. Euh, devant Tijmen Van der Helm, devant Mathias Zagazeta et euh, Lashlan Robinson pour les euh, pilotes du Quatuor de tête en ce moment dans le classement des X30 Junior. Euh, Dielo Vanoff numéro 118, Mathias euh, Salonen numéro 120 pour les pilotes de la première ligne. Quinten Bichvard et Luan Fernandez en, en ligne 2. Ali Akabi et Mathias Zagazeta en ligne 3. Euh, Jazz Inferati et Kai SK en ligne 4. Euh, Valen Johnson et Kotaro Simbara en ligne 5. Xavier Hansem et euh, Emil Karjalainen en ligne 6. Réchad de Jérus Daniel euh, Kachenko pour les pilotes de la ligne 7. Taylor Mayen. Tyler, Maxon, Leonardo, euh, Forna, Rolli en ligne 8, Tom Lebon et ainsi de suite. Et attention, top au départ. C'est parti pour euh, là, cette fois-ci, rappelons-le, 8 tours, 7 tours précisément, 7 tours. Et euh, Dylan Novantov conserve pour l'instant le bénéfice de la première place. Et euh, pour l'instant, c'est Keaton B. Ward qui va être en deuxième position. Yep, Delano Van Hoff leading the way, Quinton Biwad in second place at the moment. Mateus Salonen is third place, then it's uh, Ali Akabi in uh, fourth place. Heading down towards uh, to the left hand hairpin, Ali Akabi representing Jordan in the CIK FIA Karting Academy trophy. Two time champion as well as. Uh, we uh, head down the back straight. In fifth place looks to be Mateus Zagazeta. And there's a good little battle going on for sixth place, which you uh, would have just caught a glimpse of. Now, uh, I think going to come out in the lead of all of that is going to be Kai Aski, although it was uh, two other drivers originally uh, fighting for that position, which uh, I think was uh, Yasin Ferrati and the 18-9 of Luan Fernandez. But in towards turn one, Akabi is going to take third place there from Mateus Salonen. Ali Akabi has been racing very well all weekend, currently 23rd in the points. Ali Akabi I think deserves better results than uh, 23rd has been uh, putting in some really good overtakes. Uh, Delano Vanthoff currently leading the way, but uh, Vanthoff does need some good results today as uh, some bad luck for Delano Vanthoff means Delano standing 34th in the standings, so could do with moving forward. So it's uh, Vanthoff Bewad, well, not for long. Ali Akabi is going to take second place down the. Oh, well, I say that spoke too soon. Quinton Bewad second, Ali Akabi third, and fourth place, Mateus Salonen. Oui, Delano 29, alors que les pilotes passent pour le deuxième tour, conserve la place de leader. Et attention derrière, Ali Akabi au freinage du 24 passant deuxième position. Mathias Salonen également arrive à s'emparer de la troisième place. Clinton Bivoire de le pilote néerlandais fait une moins bonne opération dans l'immédiat. Il chute pour l'instant à la quatrième position. K. Oskay en 55 secondes, 860 e Réalise le chrono, meilleur temps en course depuis le, le départ. Luan Fernandez peut paraître le premier pilote de la délégation en France. Il est pour l'instant pointé en 8e position. Et Réchat de Gérus est à la 11e place. Alexandre Pic en 16e position. Alexis Garcin est 21e. Caroline Candas également qui euh, est pour l'instant pointé numéro 124 à la 24e place. Bout de la ligne droite, Yannou Vernoff reste devant. 
Quinton Bijouard et euh, Ali euh, Akabi pointé troisième. Fin du troisième tour tout de suite, Chris. Yes, but uh, Sagazetta has already caught the lead group. Kayaski behind this quickest on track, though, in sixth place. And Kayaski, another new fastest lap that time, as we see a change for lead. Ali Akabi taking the lead from Delano Van Hoff out front. Van Hoff uh, just checking over the shoulder. Can see uh, Matthias Zalanen closing in in fourth place. Here's uh, Quinton Biward. Oh, but not for long. Matthias Zagazetta makes a move there, goes through to fourth place. Kayaski still closing in. Behind that, Yasin Ferrati and Luan Fernandez battling over seventh place. We can see any more changes down at the hairpin. We don't on this lap. Ali Akabi, this is the kind of racing we we're talking about, quickly moving forward to the lead. Now just has to try and hold on to it as a change for mm. second. I think we're about to see Matthias Salonen trying a move on uh, oh. second place. Uh, Delano Van Hoff and Matthias Agazetta take third. Ouais, une course extrêmement disputée, très spectaculaire. Il y a un changement leader par rapport au classement de, du troisième tour puisque c'est maintenant Ali Akabi qui est repassé euh, devant. Attention au freinage du virage de 24. Dylano Van Hoff est en deuxième position. Matthias Zagazeta a réussi à s'emparer lui de la troisième place. Tour joliment mené pour le pilote péruvien qui avait déjà été extrêmement convaincant hier et qui confirme bien qu'il est toujours en ce samedi matin. Mathias Salonen est en quatrième position. Quinton Biward a perdu des places. Par contre, il est cinquième désormais. Kai Esquet est sixième. Luan Fernandez reste au premier français en huitième position. Direction euh, le banking à l'instant pour Ali euh, Akabi, Dilano Vanoff et Mathias Zagazeta qui reste 1, 2 et 3. Au bout de la ligne droite, je pense, Chris, qu'il va se passer des choses. Down the back straight, it was yet another new fastest up for Kayaski last time round. No surprise that Kai's now gone into fifth place. Pass uh, Quintem Biward as they uh, make their way up the last corner. Six for the lead with just two laps remaining. So, uh, yeah. Akabi's going to lead them down towards turn one, but uh, who's going to be leading by the time they get down there? Zagazetta oh. going from third to first. Brilliant move that. Salonen has gone through to second place. Third place is uh, going to be... Uh, Zagazetta, fourth place, Akabi, then it's uh, Kayaski in fifth place, Biwad is in sixth place, as uh, are we going to see any more changes, how many more changes are we going to see, brilliant junior race this, only seven laps are the heat, so uh, they got to get it sorted out pretty quickly, and Kayaski making a move on Ali Akabi, a little bit of contact there, but gets the move done on the exit of the corner, Ali Akabi Uh, just a little bit of contact when the move was made. Mateus Salonen now challenging for the lead, Bruno. Oui, avec un changement. Est-ce que c'est alors qui est repassé devant le voir maintenant On avait un, un passage excellent de Mathias Agazetta qui, dans le 24, avait réussi à s'emparer de la tête. Et attention à la réplique à l'instant. C'est Mathias Salonen qui repasse devant alors que l'on attaque le dernier tour. Euh, Zagazeta, finalement, c'est une affaire de Mathias. Mathias Salonen, Mathias Zagazeta, who will be the best Mathias. Diano euh, Vornov pour l'instant est en euh, troisième position, légèrement détaché du trio Kai Skey, Ali Akabi et euh, Kandin Beachward. C'est Luan Fernandez qui reste mais, euh, un petit peu détaché malheureusement, premier français en étant pointé en septième position. Mathias Salonen, Mathias Zagazeta, Diano Vornov arrive à la parabolique c'est pour l'instant le tiercé de tête oh. Salonen qui s'est bien placé au milieu de la piste pour éviter d'être dépassé avant le banking Chris Matteo Salonen defending when he didn't really need to there and he's uh, a loud pressure from Matteo Sagazetta and Delano Van Hoff oh, 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 three oh, oh, future oh. drivers queuing up although behind Ali Akabi gets through to fourth oh. there comes a move for the lead <laughs> by Matteo Sagazetta Ali Akabi trying to get third it's going to be a complete oh, driver oh, 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 two oh, drivers oh. off down to the line Ali Akabi is going to take the win second place goes to Delano Van Hoff third to Kayaski Quinten Biwad finishes in fourth now the two drivers who made contact were Matthias Sagazetta and uh, Matthias Salonen Salonen gets across the line in 24th place and Zagazetta is not going to finish the race well uh, we'll sure see a replay of that one but uh, all kicked off going into the last corner that was like watching the last corner of the final everyone going for the lead mm. there was a, a bit of a delay for the penultimate corner and uh, people thinking uh, some drivers thinking that there was gaps when there perhaps wasn't a bit of contact on the exit we've seen that on a couple of occasions already this weekend but nothing to the extent of that thankfully Matthias Zagazetta walking away that the most important thing yeah. out of all of that Uh, the day, uh, the day, sorry, the lap before the checkout flag I has the question who is going to be the best Matthias. The, the answer is we have no Matthias, in fact, uh, under the checkout flag. 
Malheureusement, c'est vrai que les deux, Mathias, là, se sont touchés, se sont un peu auto-éliminés. Quel dommage On va revoir d'ailleurs avec le replay les, les images. Regardez bien, Mathias Salonen et Mathias ah. Zagazeta. Là, il est clair que Mathias Salonen a voulu faire l'intérieur. Là où ça ne passait pas vraiment. Et malheureusement, les deux pilotes sont partis en dérive. Au final, c'est Ali Akabi qui s'impose devant Dilano Vanoff et Chaos Kay pour la troisième position. Quinton Millward pour la quatrième. Euh, Jazin Ferrati pour la cinquième. Lone Fernandez, premier français euh, ici. Alexandre Pic termine en treizième position. Alexis Garcin à la dix-septième place. Soris Kabirou, vingt-et-unième. Caroline Candace, vingt-troisième position. Louis Maurice, vingt-neuvième. Well, hopefully we can see that same replay of the incident uh, one more time. But it was quite clear from the replay. Mateus Salonen was going for uh, a, a, a gap that was uh, there, but just hit the curb on the uh, entry to the last corner. That forced the car out wide into the path as Mateus Zagazette, a complete racing incident, in my opinion. It was just the curb that uh, pushed the car wide for Salonen into the path of Zagazette. And I think both drivers, unfortunate that... Uh, on what happened as a result but a uh, racing incident for me both going for the race win uh, Mateus Salonen uh, had the space to go for the move but uh, a little clip of the curb unfortunately sent him into the path of Mateus Zagazeta Ali Akabi taking the win from Delano Vanhoff Kai Aski Quinten Biward Yassin Ferrati Luan Fernandez Xavier Hansayem Rashad De Judas Valon Janssen and Tyler Maxson <laughs>